Hello everyone and welcome to another insightful session right here on this channel with me, Tete Tei. Today, we would be looking at the Stephen Young Global Leaders Scholarship Program at the University of Strathclyde, Glasgow, right in the UK. This is a fully funded MBA program at the University of Strathclyde, Glasgow in the UK. If this is the first time you are watching any video on this channel, I would encourage you to hit on the subscription button for me, help us to grow as a community. If you are a retaining viewer, I am glad you are still here with me and I know you are definitely going to find a scholarship that is worth applying for. Without wasting much time, let's just get straight into the video for today. Like I said in the introduction, today we would be looking at the Stephen Young Global Leaders Scholarship Program at the University of Stride Clyde, Glasgow. This is a fully funded MBA program that is a Master of Business Administration Scholarship, okay? But before we can look at the scholarship, it is important for us to apply for the MBA program at the University of Strathclyde, Glasgow, okay? So we first need to apply for the master's degree in business administration. And then from then, we can apply for the scholarship. Mind you, it is a prerequisite. You need to have an offer at the business school of the University of Stride Clyde before you can apply for the program, okay? Mind you, I would be inserting all the relevant links in the description so that you can have access to the links yourself, verify the information, and then you can put in your application, okay? So let's move to the MBA program page okay so this is the mba program page that is a master of business administration full-time glasgow okay so why this course the course starts in either january or september and then the duration is 12 months full-time the university of stride clyde um business school is a triple accredited business school that has a m b a a a c s b n e q u i s over 50 years delivering the prestigious MBA program and the business school is ranked corporate ninth better world MBA for 2022. So these are the reasons why you should study with the business school at the University of Stride Clyde. Okay, so this is it. Why this course? You can read about all these. So you can see some subheadings here. So let's just click on entry requirements. Let's check the entry requirements for the MBA program. So once you click on entry requirements, it reads, our selection process is designed to identify talented professionals from a wide range of academic, business, and cultural backgrounds. While there are formal requirements for entry to our MBA listed below, we take into consideration your potential, your interpersonal and team working qualities, the range and nature of your managerial experience. In order to assess these skills, we ask you to complete a number of essays outlining your experience and aspirations alongside references supporting your work experience and academic record. We may ask you to undertake a formal interview to discuss your achievements and aspirations. We encourage you to visit the school or center you are applying to and to ask as many questions as you need to clarify your decision. So now let's look at the qualifications and experience. For entry to the MBA program, you you must hold a degree from a UK university or equivalent academic qualification from a comparable non-UK institution. If you studied for your undergraduate degree at a non-UK institution, we will need a copy of your degree transcript. Professional qualifications will also be considered. Okay, so they would need a transcript of records from your university. Okay, so you must also be at least 24 years of age have a minimum of three years full-time postgraduate experience where the management of people and resources has played a significant role. Okay, so you need at least three years professional experience, okay? Then, entry at diploma level may be offered to applicants who do not hold sufficient recognized degree level qualifications 
but who do hold non-degree or professional qualifications plus at least five years varied management experience, have no formal qualifications but extensive and varied management experience, 10 years or more, are exceptional candidates over the age of 24 with a minimum of two years managerial experience. This is available only to candidates applying to routes other than full-time, okay? So even if you do not have a degree in business administration, you can still apply for this program, but then you would need a lot of management experience to apply for the MBA program. So let's look at admissions and testing. Although the graduate management admissions test mat is not a standard requirement of our admission process, strong verbal reasoning and numerical abilities are critical for the MBA and we may ask you to undertake such a test. So GMAT is not a requirement for this course, but then you may be asked to undertake such a test, okay? So if you would be required to write such a test, they would let you know, but then it is not a prerequisite and it is not a requirement. So competence in English. The MBA program is highly interactive and requires a high level of competence in English speaking, writing, reading, and understanding. A minimum score of 6.5 in IELTS is required for those applicants whose first language is not English. We may consider applicants who fall slightly below these standards if they are willing to undertake pre-sessional study, okay? So if English is not your native language, you need to write IELTS and score a minimum of 6.5, okay? So coming from Ghana, Nigeria, or any other English-speaking country, English is your native language, but sometimes um, there are some challenges when it comes to applying for programs in the UK. So the best thing I could tell you to do is to contact the admissions office. Just click on the contact us. It is at the right hand side of your, my screen right now. Just click on contact us and then contact the admissions office and let them know that English is your native language and ask if you still require to write an IELTS test, okay? So that is with the English competence, okay? So computer competence. In order to undertake the diploma or MBA, you need to be competent in word processing, the use of spreadsheets, and in report writing, okay? So these are the admission requirements, that is the entry requirements for this program. You can always look at the fees and funding as well. So once you click on the fees and funding, it states a whole lot of numbers here, but we would be applying for the scholarship so we can skip the fees and funding. So right now, you know that you need your degree certificate and then your transcript of records and business administration. Even if you did not study business administration, you can still apply for this course, but you would need relevant experience to apply for this course, okay? So that is it. Now let me just take you to the application portal where you can put in your application okay that is the application portal for the mba program okay so you come here if you already have a user account at the university of stride clyde as an applicant student or member of staff then please log in using pegasus okay so you can just log in if you already have an account but if you do not have an account you have to click on create your profile okay so you just click on create your profile once you click on create your profile it brings you here you put in your details and then once you put in your details you set a password then you can start your application process and this is how you apply for the MBA program at the University of Stride Clyde okay so now that we have applied for the MBA program let's look at the Stephen Young Global Leaders Scholarship program okay that is our focus for today so now we are on the home page of the scholarship that is the Stephen Young Global Leaders Scholarship program so let's scroll down and see what the scholarship is about and how we can apply for this scholarship key facts number of scholarships up to five that means up to five people would be awarded with this scholarship 
value of scholarship. It is a full scholarship that covers your tuition and then your living cost. The application portal opened on the 6th of December 2023 and then the deadline is on the 2nd of June 2024. Okay, so the deadline is on the 2nd of June 2023. 24. Let's look at the eligibility. Okay, so the Stephen Young Global Leaders Scholarship Program is open to any outstanding candidate who believes that they meet our eligibility requirements and strongly reflect the values outlined in our criteria guidelines. We embrace diversity and strongly encourage applications from underrepresented groups, particularly Black, Asian, and minority ethnic communities, women, LGBT plus disabled candidates and candidates from lower social economic groups. Irrespective of your background, all applicants must meet the following eligibility requirements. You must meet the admissions criteria for the Stratclyde full MBA program, hold a current offer on this program for your chosen year of study, and accept this offer before making a separate application to the Stephen Young Global Leaders Scholarship Program. You must be able to demonstrate exceptional academic merit in your application for the Stephen Young Global Leaders Scholarship Program. For example, a first-class undergraduate degree from a UK university or equivalent academic qualification from a comparable non-UK institution. Okay, so first and foremost, you must have received an offer from the Business School of University of Stradclyde. Then, once you have accepted your offer, only and only then can you start to apply for this program. Make sure that you have at least a first class when you are applying for this program because a lot of people will be applying so you must put yourself in a good standing to be accepted for this program and your academic grades matter when it comes to this scholarship application so just bear that in mind you must be a self-funded student who does not have access to other sources of funding such as corporate sponsorship or alternative scholarship funding okay so once um you apply for this program just make sure that you do not have any alternative scholarship funding or nobody is able and willing to sponsor you okay if you are shortlisted you will be required to attend a formal interview either in person or virtually okay so this is the eligibility the subject eligibility is management that is business management the levels of eligibility is postgraduate thought that is a master's program the study modes eligibility is full-time it cannot be part-time and then the fee status we have home that is scottish england or northern ireland or republic of ireland or wales and then there's international students okay you can apply for this scholarship as an international student so student type it is applicant okay so further information this is the selection process you can read all about the selection process okay but our main concern is on how to apply for the program so once you are here all you have to do is Click on the scholarship application form, but I am definitely going to insert the link in the description so you do not have to worry. But once you are here, you just click on scholarship application form, then it brings you to this platform. Okay, so this is the scholarship application platform. Okay, let's read what is stated here and then we just glance through the form and then uh, we complete the application. Okay, so Stephen Young Global Leaders Scholarship Program and the Strad Clyde MBA to, to be considered, you must have an offer to study an MBA program with Strad Clyde Business School before applying for a scholarship. You must be able to demonstrate exceptional academic merit. Awards will only be made following successful interview. Duplicate applications will not be considered. Do not apply more than once. Any standard or clearly template based SOP that is your statement of purpose or personal statement or duplicate program essay answers uploaded will be disregarded and the application not considered for a scholarship so do not use any templates for your statement of purpose it must be organically generated straight from your mind okay due to volume of applications only successful applicants will be notified to apply for a scholarship you should complete all the fields below and click proceed. Applicants are required to upload their statement to support their scholarship application. To upload your statement, 
click choose file and locate your pdf or word version of your statement and then click open if you have difficulties using this platform please contact there's an email address here or call and there's a telephone number here you can call when you have any difficulties using this form okay so once you are here program you hold an offer for once you click on please select it is here mba full time you click on it select your title mr mrs anyone then you put in your name your family name your date of birth your gender your nationality your country of residence and then application number once you have an offer from the business school at um, university of stride clyde there's an application number you put that number here then your contact details that is your email address your telephone number your qualifications experience and then uh, funding how will you fund your MBA studies if you are not awarded um, the Stephen Young Global Leaders Scholarship? So you can just state here that you cannot fund your studies if you are not offered the award. So you just put it here. And then scholarship statement. Upload a maximum thousand word statement demonstrating through your ideas, experience and future career plans, including your reasoning for joining your chosen program why you should be awarded this scholarship okay so there is some context you can read about the context and then this context and questions are going to shape how you write your statement okay mind you do not exceed the thousand word limit okay so there's a thousand word limit and there are some questions here that you have to answer once you answer these questions you put them together and that is going to be your statement and once you have your statement you just upload it here as a pdf or or word document and once you do that you just click on proceed and once you click on proceed you can just complete the whole scholarship application and just like that you have applied for the Stephen Young Global Leaders Scholarship that is it okay so I wish you all the best with your application mind you the deadline for the scholarship application is on the 2nd of June 2024 therefore I would encourage you to put in your MBA application right now so that you would receive your offer as soon as possible and then you can proceed with the scholarship application i'll definitely catch you on the flip side if you have any questions you can definitely leave them in the comment section and i would address them as and when i see them okay catch you on the flip side i am out